Where did we crash into? Special treatment room. I think I'm badly hurt. Surprised I'm not dead. Oh yeah. First aid kit. Here we go. Special treatment. Are these solitary confinement? I think they are. Just want to pause for a second and talk about that diary that we just read, though. It had a really stigmatizing view on medication where they said, if I have to be drugged all the time, then who even am I? It's okay to take medication all the time. It's okay if you're not okay unless you take medication. Like You're still a real person. There's nothing fake about who you are or something. You're not a broken person for having to take medication to have a healthy life. It's fine. Just wanted to mention that. Something's written on the wall. If Joseph looks calm, he can be taken out of his cell. Hmm. Didn't one of the notes say something about Joseph? I think Joseph was one of the patient files that we read. Now, of course, we can go in this one. Yay. Oh, Jesus. Yep, padded solitary confinement cells. Nasty places. Well, there's like scrape marks leading from Joseph's door, so I guess they're out. Third floor? Yeah. Let's go check on Mary. <coughs> I'll be okay soon. <coughs> I'm curious if we can go back up to the roof now. Pyramid isn't head isn't still here, are they? <sighs> Nothing up here. I ended up having to look up a hint on where the final code is. It's frustrating that it's so easy to miss things in the game, even when you're being careful, and even though I went over the entire hospital two or more times. Apparently the code is scrawled in blood in one of the padded cells. There's only one padded cell we can go into, of course. Joshua's? Uh, Joseph. Joseph Barkins. Yeah, there was blood in here, but I couldn't do anything with it. Now it shows up? I tried to use the blood before and nothing happened. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not forget them. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. You gotta be looking just at the numbers written in blood, which are so far down on the screen, like, they don't even look like numbers. Those really should have been more obvious. Two, six, seven, eight. 
Two, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I didn't think it would quite be that easy. The question is, am I reading it wrong? Or probably the words are relevant and they need to be in a different order. Turn, turn, turn. And that's turn spelled T-E-R-N, not T-U-R-N. I don't, I don't think that matters though. Turn the numbers, better not forget them. So I'll write them down here, right? As in like the direction, right? The other one, my secret name. The other what? Code? There we go. So it says, I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. I thought maybe the secret name is Louise, what's written on the wall. Because on the wall it says, Louise, I'll take care of you for the letter for, I mean the, the word for the number for, I'll take care of you for ever. It's my destiny. So... I didn't know which one needs to be replaced with the number four, so I just cycled through every single one of them, getting the right passcode as written, and then just changing one all the way around, going to four, changing the other one all the way around, going to four. And it looks like the first one had to be adjusted. I don't know if it actually got to four, though. I wasn't paying attention. I was just rotating in as much as I could. There's nothing inside the box. No. I'm wrong. There are a few hairs inside. That's so gross. Piece of hair. Yay. I like how there's even nails sticking out of the side of the box. Like, this is one gnarly box. So that must be used to get the thing out of the drain. Long brown hair. I can combine it with stuff? Looks like it's the only thing I can combine with something else. That's interesting. I guess that it does that imply that it needs to be combined? Well, I guess if nothing else has the combine option, I guess I can't combine it with the hair, can I? Combine it with itself? Let's go to the shower. I'll never be able to snare it like this. So I'm missing something else. I must be missing an item though, right? Because there's nothing that I can combine with it. Oh, you know what I missed? I had to look up another hint to figure out what I was missing. I missed an entire room. I missed the women's locker room. I don't know how I passed over that. I always check the map to make sure everything's checked off, but somehow my eyes just glanced over it. That's what I need for the hair to fish the thing out of the drain. Bent needle. Looks rusty too. Just a normal stuffed animal. Nothing else. Rusty bent needle was stuck in the stuffed animal in the locker room. Oh, that's interesting. You don't actually combine them into a single item? I think I have to combine them and then use them on the thing in the environment. I can't, like, combine them, make a new inventory item, and then use it, if that makes any sense. That wasn't what I expected. 
and the shotgun. Hell yeah. See? The women know what's up. Got a decent amount of shotgun rounds. 24? Yeah. I'm definitely not going to use this though unless it's a really hard enemy. If it's just the things I've been encountering so far, it's going to be the pistol. I don't want to waste it. So it should work if I'm right in front of it. Combine and then use? Yes. It's a very weird system. a key? Elevator key. Alright, I thought it might have been a human ear, so that's good. Do I still have the hair and stuff? No, good. Wait, no, that still looks like a ear, like attached to it. What the heck? Oh god, is that the key ring? Is it a human ear key ring? I can't examine it or anything. But that definitely looks like an ear. Patient wing elevator is written on the tag. It was stuck in the bath pipe. Ah, oh, that must be this one just right over here. I'm sure this is going to take me somewhere great. Oh, I love those footsteps. We're on the third floor. Let's try the second floor. already been here, of course. This we have not been to. We were never able to get in here. The breathing noise is back. It kind of sounds like somebody on a ventilator. And we are in a hospital. Couple stuffed animals front and center. Oh, Laura. Name? 
Heidi told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. already I'm sorry Laura anyway let's go we can talk about this later this is no place for a kid there are all sorts of strange things around here I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you why should I Okay. But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I want to go get it. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Laura! What are you doing? Ha ha, I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Open up! Why? You! You! Laura? You cut me! Oh boy, here we go. This is shotgun time. Oh, there's another one.
going over to the other... Yeah, the other side. gently comes in. Okay, there's a lot to talk about there. First, before that, uh, I guess it was a boss fight, James said to Laura, I can't believe there isn't a scratch on you. And then Laura said something like, why should I? I think meaning like, why should I? Why would I have any scratches? I thought that was interesting because I took that to mean almost like Laura's too young and innocent to really be hurt by anything here because I feel like Silent Hill feeds on misery and, and self-hate which James has plenty of after the death of their wife years ago and Maria too because I'm pretty sure those were their diary entries on the roof they also hate themselves and I think that's the reason things hurt us because Silent Hill is feeding on that but with Laura, I don't think anything can hurt them here. Also, that boss fight. Those enemies were interesting. They looked like they were people completely smothered in a hospital bed. Like, confined and just trapped. As if they've just been bound to their bed, to their gurney with a blanket. Like a bunch of hospital blankets. Or sheets, I guess. More than blankets. All the things sticking out is their feet. Creepy. Where are we? Down on the first floor. But a whole nother first floor. <laughs> Of how we have to keep editing the map to make it make sense with how the world actually is. Like, there's a hallway here? Yeah, not really. Not anymore. Glad I saved the ammo for the shotgun. Still have a decent amount left. Let's go back to the pistol, though. Mary. It seemed like they were being pulled away on a gurney and in a daze, extremely tired, lethargic, with no energy saying our name, James, James. Oh. The elevator still works. was that? It's like something glass just shattered. Duh. Hey, 
Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of that room. Looks like there's veins spreading across the ground. Look at that. Just right there. Is our next place to go. Oh, I didn't try C4. There, a little bit red. Let's take a health drink. opens. The hell is that? There's a piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark, and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I will never, ever go back there. We're going to be going there. <laughs> Dry cell battery. Basement storeroom key. Part of the wallpaper is torn. I can see something drawn on the wall beneath. Are those hands searching for something? Or are they just a sign of pain?
day room. I've never been in here yet. It's always been locked. Hmm. There's something that looks like a refrigerator. Will you open it? Uh, sure. Hmm. It's no good. The door is too heavy to open by myself. Hmm, maybe I need to come back here with Maria. Yeah, look, this map isn't even accurate. It says there's two rooms here and some doors, but these rooms aren't even here. I mean, there's support beams. I guess if they put walls in between them, they'll have rooms. Time to go to the third floor. Still doing pretty good on ammo. 67 rounds left. Is that an ampule? Ampule? It's the first one ever. It's a super healing item. Effects are powerful. scrap of paper on the ground. Just some doodle. Huh. Something's written on it. She is an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins she devours them. Sin and sinner alike she saves. She saves me. She is an angel. What is this? It's locked. For a painting, that's incredibly lifelike. Looks like there's somebody actually there. Are those arms actually sticking out? There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. I thought so, yeah. Probably supposed to put something in their hands. 
possibly related to the note we just found about she, uh, her saving me and an angel and all that. There's that ventilator sound again. We're just breathing. There are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? that noise? Ah. Thought I was coming from behind the door. a room back there. I'm gonna go back there just to make sure I don't totally forget it. That was the one? Yeah. What is this pillar? There was no pillar here before. got turned around. <laughs> Haven't tried the stairwell. 